This video is brought to you by Capyera. More on that later. If you're an avid Sunhaven player but find yourself getting tired of the more tedious tasks of the game, then this video is for you. Because today we're going to be discussing some of my favorite quality of life mods that Nexus Mods has to offer for Sunhaven. Sunhaven is an amazing game, but even the best games could have some quality of life improvements sometimes. I actually made a video a little while back showcasing a few quality of life Sunhaven mods that I recommend. But for the sake of time, I didn't talk about all of them, and even a handful more have popped up since then. So I think it's about time for a little update. If you haven't seen my first video on this subject, feel free to check that one out before or after this one. I will leave it linked up here and also in my description box below. These mods that we will be discussing today are designed to enhance your gameplay experience without crossing the line of feeling too cheaty. And all of these mods can be found in the Sunhaven game category on Nexus Mods. I will be sure to also leave them all linked in the description as well. If you've never installed mods to Sunhaven ever before, I will also leave a link in the description to a quick and easy tutorial that teaches you how to get started. But before we get into the these mods, let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Capyera. Capyera is an independent business that specializes in making high quality, adorable capybara plushies. The plushies come in two different color variants and sizes. We have Zeno, the OG chill master, and Zenny, the pink sweetheart. These little guys make the perfect gift for any capybara lover out there. And Capyera is running a limited time Valentine's Day special where you can get up to 40% off any purchase. And you can even get an additional 10% off using code MRIZ10 at checkout. Or by clicking on the link in my description. That's a whopping 50% off of your purchase. Plus, if you buy the bundle dual Barra deal, you get a free Capybara tote bag along with your purchase. Capyera ships worldwide, has free delivery for orders over $40, a 14-day return window for US orders, and they're suitable for all ages and skin types as they're made with hypoallergenic materials. Using code MRIZ10 at checkout is a great way to support the channel while also getting something for yourself or your loved ones in return. That's capyera.com and code MRIZ10. 10 at checkout. Let's stick these bad boys back here. And now back to the video. As a farmer, it's important to keep track of your crops and how long they have before they fully mature. And that's why up first on our quality of life mod list, we have Farm Status by The Sad Cactus. As you may be able to gather from the title, this mod adds a farm status panel to the game's UI. You can find this button right at the bottom of your inventory screen. By clicking on it, it opens up a panel that lists the current status of all the crops currently growing on your farm, including the crop type and precisely how many days before the crops will be fully matured and ready to harvest. This mod is great for those of us who go hard in the farming aspect in Sunhaven, allowing players to keep track of what you have planted on your farm without having to use your scythe on your crops and trying to match up which pop-up belongs to which crop. Because it can sometimes be difficult to remember which crop is what when they haven't fully matured yet. But farm status streamlines this process, ensuring efficient management without the need for guesswork. The creator of this mod says that at some point in the future, if possible, they would also like to incorporate the status of various cooking and crafting equipment on your farm, as well as helpful animal information, which would definitely be a very helpful little addition, so hopefully we get to see that in action one day. Do you get easily overwhelmed by deadlines in Sunhaven, or oftentimes find yourself missing quests or missing out on dates because you got occupied in something else and forgot? Well, then up next on our quality of life mod list is No More Deadlines by DevOps Dinosaur. With this mod installed, your gameplay experience ensures that any quest accepted will no longer be burdened by the looming specter of deadlines. And yes, this even works with NPC dates, because sometimes we have other priorities that we want to take care of, but we don't want to miss out on those special dates. So I have to sacrifice my other things that I want to do in order to be a good GF to my virtual lovers, but not anymore. This mod provides players with newfound flexibility in managing their time and relationships. If you miss that date time window at 10 a.m., you can just go the next day or the next day or the next day. This is a one-liner mod that simply removes the expiration date on all quests. It will not affect save games. So if the mod is disabled or removed, then the quest expiration will return in the next load-in. So there's really nothing to worry about when it comes to corruption. No More Deadlines is an amazing mod for us easily distracted folks, offering the gift of time and flexibility in the pursuit of both quests and personal relationships in the virtual realm. A prevalent concern echoed within the Sunhaven community revolves around the absence of sprinklers in the game, a sentiment shared by many players. And yeah, we eventually unlock the rain cloud spell, which does speed things up a ton, but once you have two or three farms and greenhouses, it quickly becomes very overwhelming to have to physically be at each farm to cast the rain cloud spell on all of your crops. Quite frankly, I do find it 
a little bit silly that a game that places a substantial emphasis on farming lacks the convenience of craftable sprinklers, a feature synonymous with virtual farming experiences. So may I introduce you to the mod appropriately named Sprinklers by Morty JD. The mod description reads, Tired of watering your crops every day? This mod brings back the cut sprinkler from the old Sunhaven versions in four new powerful magical variations. The sprinklers work overnight, leaving all of the surrounded crops or hoed tiles perfectly watered. When placing sprinklers, you can see a preview of the range, just like with scarecrows. What sets this mod apart is the attention to detail and integration with the game's lore. The sprinklers are not a mere functional tool. They are woven into the story of Sunhaven's magical world. So some of the sprinklers are gated behind mid-game content, so that way they fit into the game's lore, instead of just kind of being there randomly. The small sprinkler has a range of one, can be crafted in the standard anvil, and requires five gold bars and one water crystal. The large Sunhaven sprinkler has a range of two, can be crafted in the standard anvil and requires five sunite bars and one havenite. The Nelvari sprinkler has a range of three, can be crafted in the mana anvil and requires five enchanted mithril bars and one water rune. The Withergate sprinkler has a range of four, can be crafted in the monster anvil and requires five enhanced mithril bars and one refined glass. And despite their names, all of the sprinklers can be used on any farm. I love the attention to detail with this mod. The mod not only addresses a gameplay need, but also elevates the visual aesthetics, seamlessly integrating these magical sprinklers into the enchanted landscape of Sunhaven. For those who find themselves less than enthused about the fishing minigame in Sunhaven, leading them to avoid fishing altogether, there is a game-changing solution in the form of a mod. No Time for Fishing by Pixelated. This mod provides a wide array of features that streamline the fishing experience, making it more accessible and more enjoyable. The beauty of this mod lies in its customizable nature, as each specific feature can be toggled on or off via the F1 key, accessible through the in-game config provided by Config Manager, from increasing the distance of the bobber's ability to attract fish to ensuring fish are immediately drawn to the bobber. This mod addresses common pain points of the fishing minigame. Bid farewell to the frustration of nibbling and fleeing fish, as this mod guarantees that fish are hooked on the first bite. The accelerated swim speed of fish towards the bobber adds an extra layer of efficiency to the fishing process. Configurability is a key highlight, allowing players to modify the fish spawn limit, control the fish spawn rates, and even enhance the base distance for throwing the bobber. Automatic reeling eliminates the need to press a button, and the option to enable or disable the reeling animation caters to individual preferences. The skip fishing minigame feature, undoubtedly the star of the show, removes the minigame entirely, providing a more direct and streamlined fishing experience. And beyond these conveniences, the mod offers a plethora of adjustments, including modifying the fishing rod cast speed, minigame speed, and bubble spell to limit the number of fish that can be caught. Players can fine-tune their fishing experience further by adjusting the odds of obtaining rarer fish or museum items through fishing. In essence, No Time for Fishing emerges as a versatile mod, not just eliminating the hurdles associated with the fishing minigame, but also allowing players to tailor the fishing mechanics to suit their preferences, ultimately transforming fishing into a breeze in the vibrant world of Sunhaven. Are you tired of having to run back and forth to all of your different crafting tables? If the multitude of crafting machines scattered across your virtual domain has you left feeling fatigued from the constant back and forth, fear not, as the mod Consolidated Crafting by DevOps Dinosaur offers a transformative solution to your crafting endeavors. With this mod installed, crafting machines now boast a convenient drop-down box, presenting a comprehensive list of all the different crafting machines at your disposal, allowing for seamless switching between all of the different crafting machines with ease. Whether you're crafting or cooking, the Consolidated Crafting mod ensures a centralized and hassle-free crafting hub. Bid farewell to the frustration of having to run around to each crafting machine for your crafting needs, because with this mod, crafting becomes a more intuitive and productive aspect of your Sunhaven experience. Pets are an integral part of Sunhaven. Haven. With their undeniable cuteness, the joy derived from collecting them all, and even strolling around with them via leashes. However, the delightful experience of having pets on leashes can sometimes take an unintentional turn when players find themselves repeatedly accidentally picking up their pets or accidentally triggering the petting animation. Which is why Enhanced Pets by Kryzik is a lifesaver. Lifesaver? Is that kind of dramatic? <laughs> Maybe. It's just a helpful mod, okay? The Enhanced Pets mod stands out as an incredibly helpful addition to the Sunhaven experience. With this mod installed, the player can no longer inadvertently pick up a leashed pet unless a leash is actively equipped in the action bar. This small but significant tweak alleviates the frustration of accidental pet interactions. Furthermore, for those of us with free roam pets on our farm, players can now pet your pets without being physically halted in place, offering a seamless and fluid engagement with your fluffy friends, or 
fiery friends. Enhanced Pets is a valuable addition to the arsenal of mods that enhance your virtual journey with your adorable and delightful companions. Every farming game of course needs a set of tools for digging holes, chopping trees, breaking stones, watering crops, and whatnot. However, the manual scrolling through an array of tools to find the right one for the specific job can sometimes be a tad tedious. But thanks to Auto Tools by Pixelated, you no longer have to worry about that. This mod alleviates the hassle of tool selection by allowing your character to automatically switch to the most practical tool for the job, provided it is available in your action bar. If you have multiple of the same tool in your action bar, it will select the highest level tool you can use. For watering cans, it will find the highest level you can use that has water available. Empty watering cans are prioritized over fishing rods when engaging with a water source. Each tool can be enabled or disabled in the settings. And the mod author suggest that you may want to disable auto switch when standing on a crop as it can be problematic sometimes. Switching is also automatically disabled when the player is in active combat. When this mod works, it works great, but it can be a bit buggy at times if your settings are not configured optimally to your preferences. So definitely take that into consideration before installing this mod. Auto tool stands as a powerful tool to enhance efficiency of farming tasks in Sunhaven, offering a dynamic and automated approach to tool selection that when configured properly significantly elevates the overall gaming experience. Navigating the expansive museum of Sunhaven spread across three different rooms with numerous categories in each can undoubtedly be a time-consuming endeavor, especially when attempting to recall the specific locations for various items. The task of remembering where each item is supposed to be displayed becomes a thing of the past. With the introduction of Automatic Museum by rx 4 Byte, eliminating the need for players to incessantly run back and forth between rooms or sift through multiple item categories to determine the appropriate placement. As this mod makes it so that as soon as you enter one of the museums, rooms, any item in your inventory that is eligible for donation in that particular room seamlessly finds its designated spot. Easy as that. For those who, like many players, face challenges remembering specific exhibits in the Sunhaven Museum, the Automatic Museum mod's implementation not only saves time, but also as a layer of accessibility that contributes to a more stress-free gameplay experience for players seeking to curate their museum collections with ease. Mounts are a great way to not only get around faster, but also look super cool while doing it. However, the constant need to ensure that your mount whistle occupies a spot in your action bar for click accessibility can become a minor inconvenience. But with the Quick Mount mod by Morty JD, mounting has never been easier. With Quick Mount in play, the process of mounting and dismounting becomes a seamless endeavor, thanks to the introduction of a designated hotkey defaulted to left shift, eliminating the need to navigate through the action bar to select the whistle and then perform the action. You must have a mount whistle either in your inventory or action bar for the hotkey to work. It does not work if it is stored away in a chest. If you have multiple whistles in your inventory, the first one found will be the one used. I think out of all the mods we've talked about today, this is arguably one of the most useful ones. It just makes traveling around so much easier, especially if you don't yet have the ability unlocked to use your tools while mounted, because that can cause a lot of mounting and dismounting over and over again. In essence, Quick Mount offers a practical solution to a common player concern. I've always found it a bit annoying just how many buttons you have to click through on the main menu of Sunhaven just to play on my usual save. So a small but impactful mod that fixes this issue is Continue Button by DevOps Dinosaur. This mod adds a helpful little Continue Button to the main menu to jump straight into the last save written. This way you don't have to click through all the different options just to play on your main save. This mod is for single player games only. I find it kind of strange that this isn't just a feature in Vanilla Sunhaven. This mod essentially addresses a user experience quirk that, when reflected upon, does seem like a bit of an oversight in the vanilla game. The simplicity of this mod highlights a potential improvement that could be considered for inclusion in future updates to Sunhaven, contributing to a more streamlined and player-friendly approach to starting up your game. And last but not least, we have Better Backup Saves by Morty JD. Because modding can sometimes be risky when it comes to your game saves, and Sunhaven by default only keeps a single backup, a limitation that might not provide ample protection against unforeseen issues arising from mod installations. This mod makes an automatic backup every day in-game when you go to sleep or pass out. 30 in-game days worth of backups are kept, but you can customize the number of days worth to keep. The backup Backups generated by this mod operate independently of Sunhaven's existing backup system and are not displayed in the backups folder in game because loading 30 save games for each character takes way too long. On the mods page, there are specific instructions showing where the backup save files are located on your computer and how to restore a save file if need be. I definitely recommend either learning how to backup your Sunhaven save files manually or installing better backup saves before delving into modding because there's nothing worse than sitting down to play your save game that you've spent countless hours on and realizing 
it's been corrupted due to mods. And that, my friends, are all of the Sunhaven quality of life mods that I have for this video. Mod authors work tirelessly and without financial gain to share their creations with you free of charge on Nexus Mods. You can support these mod authors on their mod pages with a voluntary donation, 100% of which goes directly to the mod authors and is not handled by Nexus Mods in any way, shape, or form. And again, if you haven't seen my first Sunhaven quality of life mod video, be sure to check that one out as well. Also, a little bit off topic, but I wanted to let you guys know that I now have a little Discord server for the community. It's a very wholesome little space where we have a question of the day, we share pet pics, share arts and crafts, and more. And I would love to have you join. The invite link will be in the description box, so feel free to join the Mrizcord. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!